The owner says her dog was getting along just fine with her friend this morning inside this home, but that changed when they got outside. Till we came outside, yeah. But in, inside the house, we were in there, and, and she, he was laying all over her, petting her and everything. Sissy Painter says outside, her dog Duke jumped on the woman's leg. She says the woman started flailing around, and the dog thought the woman was going after his owner, so he attacked her. Painter tried to get the dog off with a tennis racket. And when I realized that I wasn't going to be strong enough was when I tried to, to get him off of her, I went straight and called 911. Deputies then showed up. He tried to use his taser to get the dog away from her. It was unsuccessful with his taser. Uh, the dog uh, turned and started charging towards the deputy. The deputy shot several rounds to dog, at the dog to, to protect himself. Mueller says the deputy was able to apply a tourniquet to the victim's leg. The victim was airlifted to Spartanburg Regional. That's significant injuries from where the dog uh, mauled her. It's just not a single, single dog bite. Mueller says the dog was euthanized due to the gunshot injuries and that painter will not be charged since the dog was in a fenced area. Sheriff Mueller called this a tragic situation and that we should keep the victim in our prayers as she faces serious injuries. Reporting in Gaffney, Nolan Blair, WIFF News 4.